Luggers. Hopefully there isn't no audio issue, but um, it's been a while since I've done a Why Digimon Y video, so let's get on to, into it. First, we're going to start off with the beginning. And I know a lot of these videos have been started in the beginning of the episode. If you hear that loud noise, it's because my stepdad's drunk again, and I apologize. But, um... They're watching the kids that have the dark spores in them, and Kari says, Do you think they are waiting for Orikawa? And yes, they're waiting. We, well, who else would they be waiting for? That made sense. Kari, like, really? Come on, that made no sense to ask. And a little bit after that, uh... Matt's asked where Sora is, and Sora says he's with, she's with, not he, she's with Ty. And, um, Izzy tries to stir stuff, shit up. He goes, are you sure it's okay to leave her with Ty? Because Sora did technically have a relationship with Ty. And Matt says, come on, Izzy, I trust Ty. Ty's my boy. He knows better and he said I also trust Sora and this proves why Matt is more mature and always grew more than TK which I'll touch on in a minute or so let me look at my notes here uh okay yeah the finally Oracle which he already showed up earlier but he was on the building so he wasn't exactly there on the bridge, but they get on the bridge where he was there. They asked him why he put the spores in him. He said, the kids wanted you, which isn't a lie. Davis calls it a lie, but it's not a lie. But they wanted it only because they knew uh, Ken had it in him. And they all looked up to Ken. And Malo Myotismon, aka Orikamon, being controlled Mal by Malo Myotismon, basically took advantage of that and manipulated him. Then from there, when uh, Orikawa was saying, that he was gonna open the bridge to the Disney World. Davis call says, but he, Black or Greymon already that Yoli shushes him. And TK, a hypocrite, calls Davis a bacon hound. Now here's why I call him a hypocrite because he literally says we can jump him. He don't know that, and he's literally listening to them. Now right before. Orica opens the gate to the dimension that Mallow Myotiswan made, basically. Um, he says that he starts crying and says that he's so happy that he's finally in the digital world. He said he wishes Cody's dad, he calls his dad Cody's dad by name. I forget, I always forget Cody's dad's name because. Eh, too many names to remember. But he calls Cody that uh, Cody's dad's name and says he wishes he could have taken him with him. And Cody and the rest of the kids act surprised. Like, why are y'all acting surprised? Y'all already knew that Orikala was friends with Cody's dad, thanks to Cody's grandpa. Like, that's a stupid thing to do. And now we come to the issue that I always have. After Malo Myotis reveals that he's the one that's been controlling Orikimon and Mamimon and Orikawa, he basically comes out of Orikawa's as body as a ghost and takes Orikawa's form for a minute. And he looks at Orikawa and says, What's the matter? Gatomon's got your time. Who the hell's Gatomon? It's Gatomon. 
I wouldn't even be upset if they used the Japanese name here and said Telmon. If you can't say Gatomon, say Telmon. But it's not Gatomon. The like, who's Gatomon? Some unknown cat? Some unknown Digimon? We don't know what. Um. Anyways, that's pretty much my only beef that I had with this episode. Two more episodes to go. I don't know when I'll do them. Um, I love you all. Hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching it. 